Wednesday at 11 p.m. Wow, Fiesta, State Fair. Yeah. It's it is fall, definitely for fall. sure. Yeah, and you'd figure we'd have storms waiting for the State Fair, but yeah, not going to happen right now. I know. Can you believe it? So I get up this morning, take my daughter to preschool. Uh -huh. Okay, drop her off. Mm -hmm. This is not the important part of the story. So we turn okay. around, she's gone, and I'm in the car, and I see a guy in the parking lot as I'm pulling out, looking at something right on the edge of the road. Uh -oh. And it's big. I'm like, what is he looking at? I stop the car, I get out and say, can I help you? That's what he was looking at, right there. Oh, it is yeah, the old, yeah. yeah, it's pretty good stuff. When you drop your daughter off for preschool and there are tarantulas Don't show in the it parking to her on the lot, way in. <laughs> you're like, wait a minute. So I get home and my wife has a meltdown, thinking that all the kids will be wrestling tarantulas oh, yeah, right. during the day. Well, not an issue. In fact, here in New Mexico, you know, a lot of times the tarantulas, from what I'm told, come from the mountains down in toward the river in the fall here. And, you know, in most cases, they're not a danger at all if you give them plenty of space. And even in that case, it's, it's really they look tougher than they necessarily are here. But they are really beautiful. I mean, there's no other way to say it. It was really kind of cool. 71 degrees out there right now. Wind's not a huge factor for us right now. 50s, 60s, and 70s for us off to the north. Down to the south, 60s and 70s right now. Looking at the satellite and radar. Most of the action that we had throughout the day is now working its way out. We do still have a couple showers still trying to hang on over north central sections of the state, but the moisture which helped to crank all this up is going to get scoured out of the atmosphere. We're going to push it on out. So throughout the area, well, that was quick. Well, let me just tell you this. What we're going to essentially see here over the next 24 to 48 hours is more westerly winds. So the moisture we had today works its way out. Southeastern part of the state going to be the focus for tomorrow. And then what we're essentially going to see here is the chances for gusty winds to stay with us over the next couple of days. And really, that's a concern because what we're starting to see is storm systems skip to our north. As that happens, and we see this all the time, they get close enough to deliver big-time winds over the state, but they don't get close enough to bring a lot of precip. So what we're going to see here is a lot of wind over the next couple of days. Again, breezy to windy, but very few thunderstorms out there. So essentially, what we could be looking at here in a La Nina year is off-season fire danger. You usually don't think midwinter we can have an issue with fire danger, but that could well be a problem for us throughout the next few months as well. Now, as far as tomorrow goes, with this next particular system going to the north, here's a look at how the winds are going to shake out. Northeast going to get the worst of it, with gusts up to 40 miles an hour out of the southwest. Here in central sections, gusts to around 30, maybe 35 in some favored areas. Across the south, gusts right around 30 and about 35 miles an hour for a gust across the northwest here. So we are going to have to contend with some pretty good wind out there. Nothing we're not used to and can't handle, but just realize it's going to be breezier than it's been over the past few days. 70s and 80s across the four corners for tomorrow after a good round of showers today in places like Durango and Pagosa Springs. We'll see a break over the next five to six days with temperatures in the 70s for the most part. Down to the south and west, Temps here going to be in the 80s and 90s, partly cloudy. A spot shower possible, but the best chance, again, going to be across southeastern New Mexico for tomorrow. 96 Roswell, 95 in Fort Sumner. But even all you guys across the southeast, most of you will not see any showers. It's 10 to 20 percent here, so it's not great. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, lots of sunshine out there. Overall, looks pretty good. North and east, temperatures here going to be in the 70s and 80s for the most part. But again, you're the bullseye for the gustiest winds. 20 to 30 sustained. Places like Las Vegas are easily going to crank up gusts around 40 miles an hour. Northern mountains for tomorrow. We're going to see those temperatures in the 70s and 80s and those wind gusts around 35 miles an hour. And your Santa Fe forecast, we will see the wind as a factor tomorrow and maybe even into Friday as well. And then Saturday, Sunday, lots of sunshine with temperatures in the 80s. East mountains going to be breezy tomorrow afternoon, mostly sunny skies. And again, breezy, usually we classify 15 to 25. If we go above that, we usually classify that as windy. So tomorrow in the metro, probably going to be more breezy than windy with temperatures mainly in the mid 80s for us. And here's your seven day forecast for the metro area. One thing to watch for tomorrow breezy. Friday, we may keep the winds going a little bit as well because we're going to drag a dry cold front in from the Pacific. So that's going to knock our temp down a few degrees. But then into the weekend, mostly sunny and temperatures in the mid to high 80s. Nice Overall, going to be really nice. Yeah, it's going to be great. All Good right. fiesta ing and fairing <laughs> weekend. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. We'll be right back with sports.